the main point of Equal Lab is that it is artists who is doing uh, this lab with young people. And that means in the same intensity that we compose, that we do electronics arts, that we paint, that we dance, that we play, we are doing it, the art with the children in the exact same way or in the exact same intensity. So it's not something pedagogical or an easy version of art, but it is art uh, done by people with uh, focus on their whole existential uh, essence. The Castle of Raps is such a magical place in an undestroyed fairy tale atmosphere which inspires all your senses. It's a place to be creative get in touch with different cultures and languages to be together in happiness. For a lot of people they think dance is dance steps and for me dance is your life, is your normal life. So it means if you still alive, you can dance. So I remember one time, the first year, there are three, four adults from Hong Kong. They said, no, I cannot dance because it's so difficult. I don't know how. I said, we are dancing now as we are chatting with each other. Yeah. And then they, they did have a very, 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 uh, fun time during eight days here and then yeah this is my goal that everybody know they can dance they can move their own body and they should enjoy it no judgment no judgment like okay am I, am I right am I wrong am I beautiful most of the people will think about dance should be beautiful but for me dance or move should be real Sound painting is a sign language created by Walter Thompson about 40 years ago. It's a multidisciplinary sign language. We use it for creating theater, uh, music, dance, or even visual arts. Usually it's a communication protocol, let's say. <clears throat> so a sound painter is communicating with an ensemble and they react on the hand signs with their own discipline. Of course, it can be a mixed discipline as well. And with the with the Equal Lab, we started to work on on different forms of art, and sand painting fitted really perfectly to it. teaching uh, painting but mainly as I think about it to do things by your hand and painting to draw with coal to, with uh, some play-doh things uh, 3d collage with many strange stuff materials and glue together and everything so it's mainly uh, do things by hand, but very much uh, included your own, the children's own stories. Beatboxing, which is um, making drum sounds with your mouth and voice organs. And this is how my class is called here in Aikut Lab. Um, 
I guess it's because well, it's an exciting thing for reactors. Beatboxing can really motivate the kids and it's a good way to enter the, the realm of sound and rhythm. And apart from that, um, trying to invite them to listen to sounds and to silence and I'll find out this other layer of reality. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.